Hey gamers and top deckers, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and today we have a deck profile video. This is the deck that I piloted in my first ever One Piece regionals. Uh, actually it was the first One Piece in person regionals. Um, it was in Illinois, Peoria regionals. So up until the regionals I was testing Kinemon. I tested Kinemon all of OB OPO2 at my locals testing for this regionals coming up and it's just for some reason i couldn't get a consistent i, I didn't like the consistency of it it's it, it is a very consistent deck for me it, it wasn't as consistent as doflamingo i decided to play dofi in my first regionals and i'm actually really happy with my decision i feel like i did better with dofi than i would have done with kinemon so let's go over the deck profile i of course obviously in every Doflamingo deck, you have four Peronas, okay? You got four Peronas, and that's that, okay? That is the best card to have on your turn one. Dofi wants to go first, and you want to see Perona on turn one, okay? It's your searcher. You, you rearrange the top five cards of your deck so that on your turn two, so you have three Dawn, you can attach two, attack with your Dofi, and bench hopefully a 4K or a four drop um seven warlords um a good not replacement but a good other option to perona is this do flamingo one drop it doesn't look at the top five cards but it does look at the top three cards and you still rearrange them you can still use uh your leader's ability on the next turn but um i did add two just to get that extra hopeful first turn one drop searcher probably the best uh two cards that you want to see in your hand on your first turn i only play two doflamingos the one drops because it doesn't have a counter and it's not a card that you play against every deck you only play it on your first turn if you have it now it's great against zoro um you trash a card from your hand uh, you're hitting someone small, and then you're also bottom decking a one drop. So it's good against Zoro. It's okay against Law, but um, not the best card to have on the field when you when you want. That's, that's why it's only get two. I play three of the Law blockers. I dropped it down from four. In OPO one, you always played four, but three is perfect. There's a lot of cards. There's Newgate. There's Vista that just like to pop. Uh, Trafalgar Law. A lot of this information that I'm giving you, um, you probably have all heard from other people uh, deck profiles on Dofi, but it's it's how the card is. It's it's the most, I mean, it's how you play the blue deck. Or it's, it's what it is. Um, the only two drop I have in the deck is Alvita. So, there's Alvita. Only for a 2k. Only used for 2k. Um, let's try to get that glare out of here. But it's only used as a 2k counter. And uh, it's not working. There we go. Okay. Only used as a 2k counter. Uh, I never played it. But you can play it if you want. Um, it, I mean, it can be good against Zoro. Again, you're, you're bouncing someone back to the hand. But then they can just use it as a counter. Uh, one of the more important cards in the deck. The second most important searcher. Uh, Do Flamingo 3-drop. The second most important searcher. And the best blocker in your deck. It is out of range to be popped by Vista and Newgate. Unless, of course, they play Otama, which they don't really want to do. Because they like to have Otama as a counter. Sometimes they play it, but sometimes they don't. Um, that is uh, really it for the searchers uh, and one drops and stuff. But now, we have the 2k counters... Um, we got Dracto Mihawk, the 4-drop 2k counter. Um, I don't play him as a character. I only use him as a 2k counter. And a good way to get him back and reuse him is this 4-drop Gecko Moria that you get him back from this card. You can recycle your Dracto Mihawks. Um, a Gecko Moria also lets you get back your 3-cost blocker. Or, if you don't have much Dawn left, a 1-cost Trafalgar Law. And a lot of people have misused this card. Sometimes you can get back your Peronas as well. It gets back a Seven Warlords or a Thriller Bark Pirate. So, don't forget. Um, we also play two Gecko Moria Six Drops. Um, this is pr 
probably one of the best cards that you can get off of your leader's ability. It is the best card that you can get off your leader's ability, most likely. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that it's the best card. It depends on what you have in your hand. Um, but it's, it's, it's one of the best. It, I would probably... The, one of the changes I would make is I'd bump this up to four. I play two Teach. Nothing must really say. It, it has gone downhill with Teach, but... Um, it's still a very, it's still a strong card against uh, Red Zoro, and it's good against Trafalgar Law. I am playing four Boas. Very good card. Uh, you're very essential card for Blue. You draw with it. It's you want it. Uh, it's a very good card late game. Uh, I kind of find that out through the tournament, but you you mostly yeah you want to play it late game. I also am playing four. Of the promo gym base. See if I can find some room over here. Four of the promo gym base. This is a very expensive card, but it's also a very good card against uh, Red uh, Trafalgar Law again, and they really they have to kind of attack it, or you can keep attacking with it. Um, if they don't try to find an answer for it, then you keep attacking with it and. If they do end up KOing it, then you're in good, you know, you bounce someone back to their deck. It's awesome. I do like it. It's a very good card. And it has a counter, one of the best promos. Uh, I'm, pay I'm playing a small Kuma Pacifista package. Three Bartholomew Kumas. Um, and then I'm playing two Pacifistas. This is another change that I would like to make in the deck. I would like to go more heavy on the Kuma and Pacifista. Um, not just because the winning deck, uh, the top four deck list was very heavy on their Kuma Pacifista lineup. The top four deck list actually played four Kuma, I think maybe three or four Pacifista, and then another two Pacifista blockers. So they were very heavy on their Kuma Pacifista. Um, I did used to play that. Not that same lineup, but I, I played a similar one with Semi Maro, and I liked it. So I think I'll change that as well. We got your six drop Dracul Mihawks. I didn't play this card that much. Um, it kind of sat in the hand. It was a 1k counter most of the time. So um, most likely these Mihawks will be Gecko Morias in the next tournament. And we have three Dracul Mihawks. Nine drops. Um... You want to see this card every game. Most of the time, uh, you're going first, so you're trying to drop them right on your 9 down turn. Um, if you go second, you can drop Mihawk, and then you have Trafalgar Law 1 drop blocker. That's one of the ways to do it, but you want to see him. I like him at 3. He could definitely be 4, because there are games when I didn't see him. But four, uh, sometimes you have too many of them in your hand, and your hand's clunked up. So I, I do like them at three. Last card in the deck is Love, Love, Mellow. Um, the best event in blue. Period. That is it. That's my deck list that I played for my first regionals in Peoria. First round, I went up against uh, Ivankov. I went, I won. Uh, against Ivankov, if you're playing Dofi, you got to go fast. You got to get his hand down. And um, right when they play their Ivankov and Luffy combo, you want to drop Mihawk and bounce the Luffy because Luffy can hurt you. After Ivankov, I played up against a red Luffy deck. Um, that player was very good. I drew hot. He drew better. And he got the win. I played up against Kinemon. I've never beaten Kinemon with this Dofi deck. Um, Kinemon's too good. I've never, I've never beaten it. I don't know how the guy that got top four, the other two that got top sixteen, did it, but they did. Um, after Kinemon, I played against Magellan. I won. Magellan is, uh, it's a blue versus purple. You want to be aggressive. You want to hit life, get them down fast. And after Magellan. We played against um, another, actually, we played another Kinemon after that. I lost that one. And then we played Zephyr. Played up against Zephyr. Um, it's it's uh, it's like a purple matchup. You want to be aggressive. You want to hit fast. And it worked out. So 
we ended up winning against Zephyr. Um, after that, we went up against a Law matchup, which was very tough. Probably the closest game I had all tournament. And I ended up beating the Law. The first time I beat Law with Dofi, actually. And it was good. I, mean, I liked it. So that was my seventh round. Here's eight, round eight was against Zoro. Round nine was also against Zoro. And I won round eight. Um, in round nine, the deck decided it didn't want to be as consistent as the first eight rounds. But um, if I played nine rounds with eight of them being consistent with the deck drawing very well, the ninth round, I guess it's okay to not draw that well. So that's it. That's my deck list. Let me know what you think. And um, if you have any questions, hit me up.